Everyone, Buddha here, gonna bring you another game from the Gamecom tournament. Actually, a little blunder here, making these drones not do anything. This game will feature one of the pros in the tournament, Six Jacks Vibe. He has been nice enough to send me his replays, and we will expect him to win this second round of the tournament. These pro seeded players did have a buy for the first round, so this is the first round he is playing. It is from the second round of the tournament. His opponent is a Protoss player, that darn dude. I'll just call him dude for the rest of this cast because that darn dude is long to say. And I am casting these live on my YouTube, on my Justin TV stream. So if you want to know when I go live, just follow me on Justin TV. If not, you are welcome to keep viewing my YouTube channel. I did as well make a Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus account. So just look for Budazerg. You can friend me. I will accept. If you want an invite, just send me an email, budazerg at gmail.com, and I will send you an eva invite to Google Plus if you need one. Google Plus is actually looking pretty good, by the way. And now his opponent just now scarred scouting. He did see that Overlord, so he does know what position that 6 jacks ha vibe has spawned. Gonna go for a speedling opening here on this map because the Protoss can obviously very easily cannon you in, and that is always a lot harder than you think to deal with. Now throwing down his spawning pool, and Vibe is actually well known for some very, very high APM, so 460 average for now. He is spamming away. If we look at his cam, I'm sure it's going to get very, very dizzying later on in the game. That probe is actually now just checking for that expansion. It's not going to come in soon though for Vibe because he is gonna wait for at least that first pair of links to come out before he actually expands. Meanwhile, one gas and the Sunderer next core gonna be thrown down by that darn dude. Very standard here, not going for any kind of fast expand or cheese builds. We'll just have to wait and see how this game unfolds. And look at that APM. He is just spamming away 500 and something APM for Vibe. He is in the Six Jacks team, which is led by Artosis, none other than our favorite caster, Artosis. Him and Tasteless has, have actually casted the GSL for quite some time. I did watch the GSL games this morning. They were awesome. Spoiler alert, right now. Wait. Okay, leave if you don't want any spoilers. Nest, he just 3 0'd his opponent. He has not lost a single game in the GSL as of yet. So he is looking to get a third title, and that would be awesome. I love Nesty. His opponent for the finals will be Lucira, so it is the first ZVZ finals. Uh, looking forward for that. Anyone who does not have a season ticket, buy one. It is very wor worth it. There have been some awesome games in the GSL, and I can't wait for those finals. Two Zergs. Uh, I am a Zerg player, so I love my ZVZ. It's actually my best ma matchup, and it has actually evolved quite a bit in the past few months. We actually see a lot more macro games in ZVZ, but coming back to this game, Vibe is actually harassing the front of dude's base just a tiny bit two more gateways being thrown down second gas already starting to mine and it is not going to be a four gate it was will going to be it is going to be a sentry heavy fast expansion by not fast standard expansion by dude meanwhile vibe already has his second base up you can see that apm is still very ha high averaging about 300 now and just now producing 12 lings, so we might be going for a, some kind of a bust, as well as attack level 1, so he will be putting on a lot of pressure here. Three sentries should be able to force fill this ramp for quite some time at least, and these lings are now just going to stay active on the map. They are going to start taking down these rocks, and uh, he actually is producing some spore crawlers since he does not know what his opponent is doing. He is completely in the dark. He is going to move in an overlord just to get that information. If he does see it in time, he's going to cancel those spore crawlers, but he does not manage to, and he, these spore crawlers are going to stick to the mineral line just to be safe. It was for any kind of Stargate or DT players for detection. And plus one is almost done. Roachworn is up now. 
he is still producing only drones, so 32-31 harvesters right now. His Protoss opponent just now getting his expansion up, and these... Zerglians are still a threat on the map. Third base now going down for on the gold base for Vibe. Two spine crawlers for defense. He does know at this point that it was a three gate expanse since there are so many sentries he can't expect any kind of void ray or DT play. He does know that all the gas has gone into sentries and with only sentries though he is feeling very safe because dude cannot actually move out across the map or attack directly into spine crawlers with only sentries. Spine crawlers will outrange sentries if they do try to attack. So no way that uh, he can bust through two spine crawlers and few roaches, especially with queens behind. So Vibe is feeling very safe behind this now, just finishing his lair, getting his gold base almost done, about two thirds done. Meanwhile, dudes expansion is now finishing throwing down the twilight council in plain sight actually this is some weird positioning for the twilight council we'll just have to wait and see what he decides to do with this twilight council getting his forge as well for those upgrades and zealot legs actually for dude so he is going to stick with this very sentry heavy army and get zealot legs although with a few roaches zealot legs won't be that useful especially with the infestation pit coming up for vibe that fungal growth can actually lock down those zealots quite easily and i gotta say vibe is looking good in this game 48 235 harvesters and i am gonna say that vibe will most likely win this game he was the favorite coming into this game. I don't know what skill level dude is, but Vibe is a pro. He does this for a living, so you got to expect him to win these games at least about 80% of the time. He will try and run by these lings, losing quite a few in the process, being blocked by those sentries. So a little blunder here, but might as well try and take advantage of everything you can. Now let's look at that APM, still averaging 336 APM, that is insane. He is just spamming away his entire, this entire game. And we will actually take a peek at his cam and seeing what he does with all that APM. You can see just bounce around everywhere. He just now looks at the main army. He will try and intercept this. I believe he has enough to actually do so. The supply is now 109, 292. If he can get a nice surround with the lings and fungal this, this is very, very weak to fungal, by the way. This army composition, only zealots and sentries, they die so fast to fungals, and the zealots can't actually attack if they do get fungled, so this is very, very dangerous now for dude. He really needs a lot more stalkers and actually tech to something else because he cannot stay in this composition for the late game. Now one zealot gonna make its way to the gold base. He does eventually see this burrow and glitter restitution for the roaches. So roach speed as well as burrow will be able to regenerate those roaches when they need to. More zealots being warping by dude and this is not a good idea. As I said, these fungal growths will completely ravage this army of sentries and of zealots. These sentries die to about two or three fungals and if they do get fungal into place they can actually get surrounded and killed off by roaches so easily. These zealots as well will be able to get softened up so easy and these are all small units so they group up so much that a fungal could be devastating. There it goes, the first fungal will catch a lot of sentries, a lot of zealots. These roaches ahead wisely not sending in the zerglings. Because the zealots can't do anything if they are fungal, you can see all these sentries gonna die in one shot to all these fungals. And <laughs> Vibe could actually just stream roaches and lings in this main base right now and win the game straight up. He does so these 101 zerglings do a lot of damage to these zealots. They do have plus one also, but that is just overwhelming by Vibe. And Vibe will take game one quite easily. He does decide to fall back just a bit to pick off these remaining zealots before actually advancing in the main base. But this is gonna be game. Expect GG anytime soon. And we are gonna go into game two right after this. So tune in guys and we'll just wait for the GG here.
there is nothing that uh, dude can do. There it is, the GGN. Tune in for game two.